Hi everybody, Alison Davis here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Many thanks today to Lumine Golf Club just outside Barcelona where I'm filming this video for you. Today's video is all about the chip pitch shot. So I get a lot of golfers when I take them on the golf course get kind of confused and don't know which shot to play when. So I try and categorize shots very simply when I teach into chipping, chip pitching and pitching. The other shots would be more risk and reward, more lob shots and stuff like that. But certainly from the edges of the green, it's definitely got to be into one of these categories for me for a chip shot, a chip pitch or a pitch. So today's shot's going to be a chip pitch. This situation here is ideal for a chip pitch. We haven't got to hit the ball with any great elevation. We've got room to run the ball. You might say, well, we could chip and run this. We could, but I tend to find when we're over a few paces away from the green, it's quite often better to go for a chip pitch shot. It's more comfortable to play and it's more normal. So what I'm looking to do here, I've got my sand iron here, or 56 degree wedge. I'm looking to play this shot, what I call very stiff, almost Steve Stricker style. How I would describe it is your thumbs, and you'll see here my thumbs, my thumbs are going to point down throughout the whole swing. So if I turn and face this way, my thumbs are still pointing down, my thumbs are still pointing down, and it's very much a body-led stroke. So I'm going to feel when I hit the shot that my body turns and extends, but I'm keeping the structure of my arms pretty solid and the thumbs are pointing down throughout the whole swing. In terms of setup, I'm looking for a narrow stance with a weight slightly favoring the lead for about 60%. And then I'm looking really just to get this rotation and body action. Land the ball probably here a third of the way on the green and let it run out, okay? It is slightly uphill this, but we're gonna have a go with that as a ratio. And if worst case scenario, I might need to pitch one halfway on, but we're certainly gonna try and learn. The other things I could do, obviously I could take a lower lofted club, like a pitching wedge or a 52 degree, and it would run more. But let's try and land this about one third on, try and feel I've got the thumbs down and the body extending and just produce a nice straightaway ball flight. And you see there, pretty simple shot. It's probably about six foot just short of the flag. Again, because it's uphill, I possibly could have done with a 52 degree rather than the 56. It's kind of one of those things you go with your gut instinct sometimes. Um, but certainly I probably could have flighted it a wee bit lower too. So it's a case of picking the right club for the job, picking the right technique for the job, and then really trusting your action and going with it with conviction. So it's all about reading the situation. You know, read the wind for sure. Read the lie, look at the elevation and see how the ball's going to react when it lands and then pick the club for the job and pick the technique and trust it and execute it with conviction. So that would be my thumbs down extension chip pitch kind of shot. So the chip pitch is that. You don't have to think of all those things. Thumbs down is great, but thumb down and extension might work better. Those are the keys for me to play that shot nicely. It's a very safe shot. Not a lot can go wrong, to be honest with you. It should be just a case of landing it about one third of the way to 50% of the way and let it release out. Obviously, if it's downhill, go on the shorter side of the landing point. If it's uphill, go on the longer side of the landing point or change the club. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that video. Very simple very straightforward, hopefully lower your scores. If you have enjoyed it, please click like down below. Really appreciate if you can do that. Also post any questions or comments, any requests for any videos, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, please subscribe. Please join me on my journey. Let's hopefully lower those scores for you and make you understand your golf game better. Thanks for watching. See you again here soon.